Hi, I'm Rob, I'm the Chef Ambassador here at Off To Work and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a bechamel sauce. So let's run through the ingredients. First we've got one and a half litres of full fat milk, then we're going to need equal parts butter and plain flour, so we've got 125 grams of each, salt and pepper to season, um, a little bit of mustard to add a nice little kick at the end. And also optional is a normal white onion studded with cloves. We'll add that to the milk. It'll add a little bit more extra flavor. But like I said, you don't have to do this. You can replace it with nutmeg. So next we're going to start on the roux. Roux is a classical way of thickening sauces. We'll start by taking the butter, 125 grams. We're just going to cut it into some little cubes to make it melt down quicker in the pan. Any size will do. And start melting this down on a low heat. When that has melted, we're going to slowly add the flour to the butter and that's going to start thickening up like a paste. What we want to be doing is we want to cook out the flour. If you don't cook out the flour, your bechamel is going to taste like flour. So bit, it, bit by bit, mix it until there's no lumps and then we're going to add a little bit more. Keep doing this until it's all gone. So that's all the flour mixed in. Now we have to do slightly stronger heat and we're going to cook this out. So this is where we're cooking out the flour. We've got to cook it out enough, otherwise you're going to get a really nasty flour taste in the bechamel. Also, we don't want to make this with any colour, because any colour to this is going to add colour to your bechamel, and then it won't be a white sauce, it'll probably be a brown sauce. So we're just going to cook this out until we get to the stage where it's burning white, and then I'll show you that again. So this has been going for about two or three minutes now. You can see it's starting to bubble away. You can also see parts of the pan sticking a little bit and going white, that's where it's starting to burn white, so we're nearly there. The roux is ready now, we've cooked it out for about five, seven minutes. I've strained out the milk, we're taking the onion and the cloves out, you can smell the lovely flavour, it's still warm. We're going to add again, bit by bit, not too fast, otherwise you'll get lumps, and just start working it through. And when you start to get more of a liquid consistency, you can move on to the whisk, that will help you with keeping it nice and smooth, but for now we need to get rid of all those lumps. And you'll start to get this smooth paste, which is resembling more and more the bechamel. Depending on what you want to do with it, if you need it to be thick in a lasagna, you can make it a little bit thicker, so less, less milk, less liquid. If you're going to use it straight as a sauce, keep it nice and liquid as you would on any kind of white sauce recipe. So it's quite liquid now. I'm going to move on to the whisk to make sure that we're not ended, ending up with any lumps. As you're cooking this out, it will get thicker and thicker. So add in liquid as you need. But this is looking quite good for now. So the bechamel has been cooking out now for about five, seven minutes again until it's nice and thick enough to the consistency you want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding the seasonings. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and a tiny bit of mustard just to give it that kick. But this will just cut through the plainness of the butter and the milk. We'll mix this in. That's right. So that was the white sauce. Most of you will probably be wanting to use it as a Mornay. A Mornay is basically the cheese version of a white sauce. So what we're going to use today is a little bit of Gruyere. It's got a bit more punch than cheddar. It's lovely. And some Parmesan. You can use as much or as little as you like, depending on how cheesy you want your sauce to be. We're just simply going to mix it in. cheese is all melted into this sauce now so we'll have a little taste. That's great. And there is your bechamel and your morning sauce. All of our chefs out off to work are trained to do this and many other things so if you need support in your kitchen please do let us know and we'll have the chefs for you. Please send us any suggestions of anything you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.